Today we're going to be talking about how to evaluate integrals of the form tangent to the m of x times secant to the n of x, where m and n are our constant exponents. So in our particular problem, we've been given tangent to the third of x times secant of x, in other words, secant to the first power of x. So we have m equals 3 and n equals 1. The reason we're focusing in on this particular type of problem is because reducing higher order trigonometric integrals can be difficult, but there's a particular strategy you can use when you have certain cases. For example, when you have the particular case where m is an odd number, in other words, the power of tangent is odd, and in our case it is, we have tangent to the third power, and 3 is an odd number, so m is odd. When you have an odd power of tangent, you can follow these three steps as a strategy for evaluating this type of integral. So your first step is going to be to save a factor of secant of x times tangent of x. So we're almost going to factor out that value. Then with what remains, we're going to use this trigonometric identity, tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x minus 1 to make a substitution and get everything in terms of secant, and then we're going to substitute u equals secant of x. We're going to perform a u substitution. So you can use this strategy when you have an odd power of tangent. You can use a similar but different strategy when you have an even power of secant, and I have another video on that. Anything else that's a product of tangent and secant is a little more ambiguous, and you'll have to figure it out case by case. But whenever you have a product of tangent and secant with either an odd power of tangent or an even power of secant, you can use a specific method. And in this case, we're going to talk about an odd power of tangent. So we're going to factor out secant x times tangent of x. And when we do that, we'll say secant x tangent of x. When we pull that out, what we're left with is tangent squared of x and no secant power because we only had one and we pulled it out in front here. So we're just left with tan squared x and dx. Now we want to use this trigonometric identity to make a substitution. So wherever we have tangent squared of x, we're going to substitute secant squared of x minus 1. And keep in mind that if you had had, for example, tangent to the fifth power, you still would have factored out a secant tangent and you would have been left with tangent to the fourth of x. So what you would have done is you would have called that tangent squared of x squared. And then you would have put this substitution inside your parentheses and you would have had it squared here. You would have still then made a substitution for u equals secant of x. So it doesn't matter what this power is on, on the tangent function as long as it's odd. And then you just have tangent squared of x inside here and you raise this either to the first, second, third, whatever power it is outside. We're going to make our substitution. So we have secant of x tangent of x. And then our substitution gives us secant squared of x minus 1 times dx. Now that we have this, we can go ahead and make a substitution, u equals secant of x. So we'll say u equals secant of x. We'll take the derivative to get du, as we always do with a u substitution problem. The derivative of secant of x is secant x tan x, and look at that, isn't that convenient? That's what we factored out, secant x tan x, so we'll be able to cancel those now. That's why this method works, because you basically save the derivative of whatever you're substituting for u down here so that you, you save that cancellation. So we could either solve this for dx, plug in for dx, and then make our cancellation, or we can substitute du for secant x tan x times dx. So that's what we'll do to save ourselves a step. So we'll get the integral here. As you can see, our secant x tan x dx is going to get substituted for du. So we're just going to plug in du for that whole thing. Then here for secant squared of x, if u equals secant of x, then u squared equals secant squared of x. So we'll get u squared minus 1. And then, of course, du, which we substituted for everything we just crossed out there. So we're obviously left with a very simple integral, and that's what we wanted. We'll just go ahead and evaluate the integral now. When we do, we'll get 1 third u cubed minus u plus c. We can't forget to add our constant of integration. 
but that's our integration using power rule. Now we just need to back substitute for u. So we'll get one third times secant of x cubed minus secant of x plus c. And just to be proper here, we'll move that cubed exponent here back inside. So we'll get secant cubed of x minus secant of x plus c. And that's our final answer. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.